Taurus and cross watchers happy birthday Taurus I hope you are having a great month so far and I hope you're having an amazing birthday thank you so much for being here I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna get started so what I'm doing is I'm using two of the same decks I'm using one for your energy and one for whoever you are thinking about it can be a love interest it can be a crush it can be an ex whomever if you're not thinking about anybody, this may be all your energy. Remember, it's a general reading, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I'm gonna use the mutual energies for you with my Shacy Prism Tarot deck, okay? So let's check out and see what's going on. I've already meditated on your cards. For those of you that are interested and brand new, welcome to Shacy Tarot. We appreciate each and every one of you. Cross watchers, of course, we welcome you with open arms. We appreciate all of you being here and thank you for your continued support. For those of you returning, I'm still doing the bracelet stone giveaway if you want to check that out it's in the description box all the details are there if you'd like a personal reading shacy.com and again everything you could ever want is in that description box if you're wearing earbuds or headphones I'm going to ask you to take them out for a minute because this shuffling can get quite loud okay so for Taurus Sun Moon Rising and Venus please for May 2020 for those of you that are brand new that do, are not aware, I always continue your reading over on Vimeo for another plus or minus 15 minutes. So if this resonates for you, it's a lot less expensive than a personal reading. But if this resonates for you, you may just want to do that because, again, that might be all you need or want. So check that out if you're so inclined to do so. That will be in the comment section as well as in the description box, okay? For Taurus, please, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now, in the extended, for those of you, the continuation that aren't aware, it's, uh, I dig a lot deeper, okay? So we'll be using a lot of other clarification decks. I'll be using my 1960s and 1970s vintage cards to clarify all of these cards, as well as pick a card with the Romance Angels. We're gonna see, you know, what kind of love messages there are for you. I'm also gonna do some guidance messages from the universe using the Moonology. I'm gonna use the gorgeous Love Oracle. These are so beautiful. I absolutely adore them. So we will dig a lot deeper. Yesterday, I did the Scorpio video and I got four clarifications from four different decks I was just I was in shock I have to tell you I've never had that happen before so you know it uh, definitely the extended for those of you if this is resonating for I will be digging a lot deeper I will be concentrating on June 2020 I'll be doing a sneak peek at that as well as what are your love interest feelings about you etc for those of you that have a love interest okay this is long enough let's get going for Taurus please Sun Moon Rising and Venus what is going on for Taurus that they need to know for their highest good please spirits for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What are the messages that Taurus needs to hear for their highest good for May 2020? What are the messages? Now remember divine timing. I've had things happen six months to a year later. I've had people come back to me. Regular clients of mine have come back to me and, and they've said, oh, well, you know, it doesn't really resonate. But six months later, they come back and they're like, wow, this is happening now. We're all on our divine paths at different times. Some of you, this may be happening currently. It may have already happened. So again, you're all going to be different. That's why, you know, general reads are a little different. So uh, check your moon and rising as well. You have the magician. Wow, Taurus, you're trying to make things happen here. Magician is having everything within your power. You can make any change you want in your life if you're willing to put in the effort. And spirit is saying you definitely can. I thought I just saw a jumper, but no. Okay, they're hopping though. Energy is getting higher today for sure. I can feel it. For Taurus, please, why is a magician here? What does Taurus need to know about the magician? Okay, so you may be a little defensive right now or you're just standing really strong. You're making things happen. It's kind of like I'm putting in the effort. I know what I want. I'm going to make it happen and I'm going to fight for what I want. I'm going to fight for what I believe in. I'm going to stand up for what I believe in. I'm going to fight for what I want. And you are standing strong. As you can see, you've got the advantage. You're on top of the hill and all these other guys are female, male, doesn't matter, or all down the bottom there. It's kind of like, I don't care. I'm fighting for what I want. I'm standing firm for what I believe in. I'm going to make everything happen. I know I can do it. I have everything within my power to make everything happen that I want to make happen. And I apologize, Taurus, but I cannot stand it if my candle burns out for your reading. I have to light it. So bear with me. We have to have candlelight. I like to take away any negative energy 
For those of you that are returning, you already know this, but for brand, brand new subscribers, yeah, please don't leave without subscribing, my girls, and I truly appreciate watching the channel grow. I always have healing stones surrounding your reading, uh, especially the smoky quartz, because that takes away negative energy for those of you that aren't aware. And I always burn the sage as well, and I meditate on your cards prior to camera. Okay, let's keep going. Why is a seven of wands here? So you could be dealing with a Leo, a Sagittarius, or Aries. You know, it doesn't have to be. And I feel you are the magician. Okay, if it's not you, it's someone close to you that, you know, is standing strong and going after what they want. Okay, so you may be at a crossroads. This could be you, or you could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. This is someone that is kind of like, got their blindfold on, they're at a place of indecision, stalemate. You know, a lot of us are right now. We, we can't really do anything, but it's kind of like you're in the dark about a few things, you're not aware of everything, or you're turning a blind eye to a few things, or somebody you're close to or thinking about is. This is somebody that doesn't know what's going on, perhaps, okay? Maybe somebody doesn't know that you're kind of like, defensive right now or uh, you're kind of um, defending yourself right now whatever that is for you I feel like you are just making things happen somebody isn't though it's like one person is like struggling fighting off others standing strong for their beliefs what they want they're making things happen the other person is kind of in the dark you're kind of like I don't know what's going on I'm stuck here it's like a period of stagnation a period of not doing anything so I feel like this, I mean, I feel like this is running over with someone you're dealing with, okay? Let's clarify, what's the Two of Swords? Why is the Two of Swords here for, wow, okay, interesting. Okay, so it's kind of like maybe somebody's kind of turning a blind eye, you know? Um, somebody may be trying to get away with something. Sometimes this can be considered emotional theft, you know, maybe emotionally somebody's taking advantage of you or you them. Again, you know, it take, take it how it resonates for you. It could be somebody that's close to you that's being dishonest or vice versa. Uh, you know, it's it's like there's a big massive change going on here. We've got the magician. We've got the world card. That's two major arcanas. There's something changing. Um, it's it's a cycle's coming to a completion, and I feel like somebody's ignoring it. So is that you or somebody you're close to is ignoring this massive change in their life? It's it's a completion. It means that you could be in a karmic situation, meaning that for those of you that don't know, you like you're in a karmic relationship. There's lessons you were meant to learn in that relationship, and now it may be ending, and you're starting a new cycle, a new path, a new journey. Uh, you're on here, Taurus, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, or Scorpio we could be dealing with. Again, I have the air signs as well, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. You could be dealing with one of the four, six signs, four fixed signs I just mentioned, but this is like, it's like someone's trying to stand up for themselves. They're, they're fighting for what they believe in. They're going after what they want. They're having to be defensive. They're making things happen. Um, it's like somebody's trying to get away with certain things. And I don't know if that's you or your person, but somebody's kind of turning a blind eye here, I feel, to this new path, this new journey. They're not seeing what's happening. They're not seeing or they're choosing not to see. Maybe somebody's choosing not to see that somebody is wanting to fight for, you know, what they know is coming. They're making things happen. Maybe they're they're not really understanding that somebody around them is dishonest or trying to get away with something. Now, this can be, again, emotional theft. It can be that somebody is trying to take what they feel belongs to them. Okay, but again, we're going to have to clarify. I could sit here all day and do this, but this is why I like those extendeds because I can dig really deep. But let's find out about your person's energy here or whoever is close to you. Remember, this can end up being all your energy. It can be a mixture of both of your energies. Let's give these a shuffle as well. For Taurus's love interest or person of interest, please, for May 2020, what are the messages for Taurus and Crosswatcher? What do they need to know for their highest good, please? What are the messages Taurus needs to hear for their highest good, please? What are the messages that Taurus needs to hear for their highest good, please, for May 2020? Taurus is person of interest. What is going on in their energy? What are their intentions towards Taurus? What does Taurus need to know for their highest good, please, spirits? What are the messages? What are the messages for Taurus? Whoa. Okay, then. Judgment. There you go. So this is about an awakening. This is this universe. You see this angel here? Blowing the horn, waking everybody up. It's kind of like 
you have a life purpose. We all have a purpose in life. We all have, um, some of us go through spiritual awakenings at different times. So either you or someone close to you is going through a spiritual awakening. This is the universe awakening your soul to your life purpose. And that's interesting because we have the world card here. So there's a completion here. I feel like somebody is at a stalemate, not making a decision. They're at a period of stagnation. Um, but we're going to, again, we're going to have to dig a lot deeper. But this is about an awakening. It's kind of like I realize what my life purpose is, what I'm meant to do, or the universe is trying to tell you what you're meant to do or who you're meant to be with. You have an awakening. You have a new future. You've completed all the lessons you were meant to in a karmic relationship or journey or wherever it is you've been. And you're meant to move forward now onto a new path, a new journey. Again, another major arcana. This is also, you know, sometimes represents reconciliation or uh, it can be with someone from your past. Uh, maybe there's uh, a new opportunity for you to revisit someone from your past. It's not going to be for all of you. Some of you, this is a new phase and a new relationship. You're going to take the, the, the relationship to the next phase. This can also just overall mean that you have this new path and this new journey and somebody is kind of not doing anything about it. I see one person standing strong in their beliefs and defending and protecting themselves and another person kind of wanting to tiptoe away here. So it's like one of you is like ready for this change and defending and protecting this change. Another one's turning a blind eye to the fact that this change is occurring. That's what I'm seeing. Why is judgment here, please? Wow, that was fast. Yeah, someone's throwing themselves all into their work. They're working on their money, their coins, um, trying to save money. It, it's kind of like maybe you or your person is trying to throw themselves into their work and ignoring, turning a blind eye to the changes around, not willing to make these changes, but it's coming with judgment here in the world card. That means you have no choice. It's coming, whether that's three months, six months, whatever the case may be, we're going to keep going and see if we can find out some kind of timeline here. Okay. For the eight of pentacles, why is the eight of pentacles here for Taurus, this person of interest, clarify the eight of pentacles. Why is it here? May, 2020 clarify. Okay, so perhaps somebody has already gone through this awakening. They've tiptoed away. They've they've kind of been defensive, whether that's you or, you, or somebody you're close to. Uh, but this is about feeling the loss. You know, I kind of feel bad for the way things happened. Um, you know, I'm thinking about the past here, and I'm not ready to see anything brand new. I'm not ready to move on just yet. Somebody's refusing at this point in time, I feel, to move on. They're turning a blind eye. They're ignoring everything. They're working. They're they're pretending everything around them isn't changing, but it is. And they're refusing to see it is kind of what I'm seeing at the moment. And this is somebody that's focusing on what was, not what could be for the future. Somebody still has two cups here. Uh, these ones have spilt over. You see, there's all that on the on the ground there. Those are emotions. Cups are about emotions. So somebody's like just, they're they're turning a blind eye to these changes around them, refusing to see, keeping their blindfolds on. They're refusing to move forward. They want to stay in the dark. They're they're turning a blind eye to what's going on right in front of their eyes. I feel because they're keeping their blind. They're ignoring it. They're they're just ignoring. It. They're plain and simple ignoring this change. Meanwhile, somebody's trying to defend and protect. I feel their right to stand strong up for what they believe in and this awakening that they're going through. But the other person, it can be in a marriage or commitment, is ignoring the fact that things are changing and yes there are some regrets there's some remorse but you can't stay here because it's an unhealthy spot to be in you have to be able to move forward and turn around and see that there are new opportunities but somebody's choosing not to look at them okay somebody's choosing not to move forward so uh you know that could be you or it could be your person of interest your former partner uh in a commitment here i feel it was a commitment Okay, because fives are half of ten. Ten of cups is having combined family. Ten of pentacles is having it all. Five is half. So it's kind of like you're going your separate ways now. You've learned everything you're meant to learn. Somebody's trying to tiptoe away from this long-term relationship. The other person's refusing to see this change. That's what I'm seeing. So for some of you, that's what I'm seeing. I'm not seeing anything about... I feel like... This is becoming single is what I feel, okay? And somebody's focusing on making their money, okay? Yeah, wow, Taurus, Wheel of Fortune. 
this is the change this is the timing this is the new journey here this is something that is and I could have told you that when I saw the judgment card this is a fated destined change world card judgment you know wheel of fortune this is a destined fated change for you it, it's absolutely meant to happen you've learned everything in the relationship or the 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 uh, the um, circumstances you lie in right now and there's no there's nothing else left to learn there there's the love that once was, you know, is not there any longer. It's not the same. It's gone. You've learned everything there. You're meant to move forward here. This is the wheel of change and it's all in the timing. Imagine this is a clock. It's all in the timing. Okay. So yeah, you're meant to move forward and it's, it's, it's no one's fault. It just means that the universe is saying, okay, you've got a new phase in your life to begin. We're trying to wake you up here. So you may be feeling tapped on the shoulder by the universe to make these changes. And I feel like you're having to defend and protect your right to go after what you want, what your beliefs are. Maybe somebody doesn't believe in, um, in your path. Okay, and you're having to kind of fight everybody off. And uh, that's, that's what I'm seeing here. And you may feel bad for how things turned out, but you're kind of like, this is change that's meant to happen. I feel like you're you're feeling the calling to, to, to move forward and to move on. Let's get the mutual energies. And, you know, uh, again, some of us go through spiritual awakenings at different times, and it's nobody's fault. This is, this is again, a karmic lessons that we're all meant to learn and then move on and take all of our knowledge to a next phase in, in our life here. It could be a new relationship, a new job, a new path. It doesn't matter. It's starting fresh. It's starting over again and learning new uh, lessons and taking your knowledge again to um, you know, the next phase of in your life. Okay. So for Taurus and their person of interest, love interest, X. Whomever Taurus is thinking about, what are their mutual energies, please? What does Taurus need to know for their highest good? How is their person feeling about them, vice versa? What are the messages Taurus needs to hear? Fertility birth. So there you go. Brand new. A brand new start here. There's something new birthing for you. This is a new birth, a new phase in your life, a change. You've completed everything and you're starting brand new. It's like having, I always describe it as a bucket list. You're meant to move forward and I feel like you're having to defend that. You may be even having to kind of be sneaky and um, maybe somebody's refusing to see this change and you're trying to make the change and you're having to defend it. And so like you're trying to, to move on. You're trying to move on. And so you feel like you have to kind of tiptoe around somebody or something or someone's doing this to you, okay? Because somebody's got their blindfold on. They're refusing to see this change. This could be you. You know, maybe you're in a relationship or a long-term marriage or commitment right now and your person is doing things or trying to take things behind your back. You know, we're going to clarify more in the extended. We have to dig deep, Taurus. There's something really deep going on here. Wow, anxiety, nightmares, nervous, anxious. So you and your person of interest, whether that's a former partner, a new partner, uh, a future partner, um, a family member, either way, there's there's um, anxiety and fear, some nervous energy going on here. Somebody's kind of a little bit nervous. You know, maybe somebody's being dishonest. They're nervous about it as well. But somebody here is refusing the change. So let's find out in the extended where we're going from here. I'm going to pull one moonology right now. We're going to get message from, from the universe, the spirits, and see what the advice is here. And then we're going to go ahead and I'm going to clarify. We're going to find out why is this Seven of Swords or is this someone being sneaky? Uh, is that emotional theft? Is that somebody trying to get away with actual, you know, stuff like... Uh, find something financial we have to find out there's definitely a massive shift here and it's it's a huge life change here what is going on please for Taurus what is going on please for Taurus but this does mean that it's a faded change for you it's something that is your destiny and it's all in the timing prosperity lies ahead and there you are Taurus look at you you beautiful bull you <laughs> this is gorgeous the prosperity lies ahead so this is the universe saying wheel of fortune now wheel of fortune can be anything this can be um you know you are moving towards wealth and prosperity and once you make this this destined fated change for yourself you are going to move towards a more prosperous future you're meant to move forward the change is meant for you and 
as hard as that is for you to deal with, this is des this is your destiny here. Um, and this can mean that maybe you'll win a lottery. I mean, I have no idea, but let's go find out. We're gonna find out what this changes and what kind of lies ahead. Prosperity lies ahead for you. You know, it might be a new job, a new career, a new business, a new relationship. Uh, we're gonna dig deep, okay? So if this is where you leave me, Taurus, I will see you next time. Please don't leave our channel without subscribing. It's free. Liking this video, it's free. Hit that notification bell. The bracelet giveaway, again, is in the description area. Leave me comments. Tell me what's going on with you. I wanna hear from you. Thank you so much. For those of you leaving me now, I will see you next time. For those of you seeing me for your bonus um, extended continuation on Vimeo, again, we're gonna dig a lot deeper. We're gonna focus on June 2020 sneak peek. I will be right there. Stay happy. Stay healthy, stay safe, and again, happy, happy birthday. Namaste.